making brown stew chicken today for dinner again. <laughs> season it up with my dry seasoning here. Kind of did it a little backwards today. Here is all of my vegetables and other season. I got carrots, green peppers, scallions, or some people might call it green onions. Got some thyme and some parsley. They're tied together. And of course, some garlic in there. And bum. Guess what that is? Hot pepper, habanero, scotch bonnet. Hot, hot, hot. I'm going to show you the seasonings that I use today put it in here so these are the dry season I use adobo black pepper lemon pepper some ginger ground ginger some ground turmeric some ground paprika and the little accent. So these are the seasons that I put in there. Before I put it in the pot. Can't forget my peppercorns. Or back home with a pimento seed. <laughs> Black peppercorns. Anyway, you put it. Just put it in there. It's bubbling right there. It's bubbling as you can see right there. So I'm going to let this cook down, cook a little bit. And while this is cooking, I'm going to tend to the little one. And then I'll come back when it's you know, in the middle to show you what's going on. And then, you know, after it cook for a little while, close to being done, I'll add my other seasoning so that I can do the final cooking down so it will simmer down, simmer down. So what we're going to, um, what we have with this today is we have some white rice and some Haitian uh, black beans puree. So that's the black bean puree. One day we'll show you how to make this puree. That's the puree and the white rice right there. So that's already done. Just waiting for the meat. Okay, here's the chicken. I turn the chicken over different sides, make sure that all sides cook properly. We'll make sure it's well cooked like that sign. I use all different parts of the chicken. This is actually the thigh that I'm using today. Last time I used the leg, this is the thigh. So what I'm going to do now, I am going to add my uh, my seasoning. Ooh. Put my pepper. Oh, 
we love carrots over here as you can see checking on the progress see it's bubbling cooking down simmering boom No singing in the background. Little one is sleep taking a nap. Mm -hmm. By the time dinner is ready, he will be up. By the time dinner is ready, he will be up and ready to partake in this yummy goodness. Okay, just giving you a little peek. All done. Gravy is not that thick. So I'm going to add some breadcrumb just to thicken it a little bit and then turn off the stove. But first, we're going to remove this pepper before it pops. Don't want to give the little guy too much spicy this or me eating too much spicy spicy food. Yeah. Oops. Just remove that pepper before it pops. Throw it out. Okay, the red comb. See how quickly it thickens up. See how quickly it's thickening up. We love gravy, so. And it looks like a lot because of the meat, but it's, it's not too much. You don't want to make you don't want to dry the meat out too much you want to make sure you have gravy see look at the difference with the gravy see see the difference if you want to add a little more you could but we're good with this good with the consistency so now yeah, guess what? Turn it off the stove. Let's turn off the stove. Gonna get ready to eat some food. Finished product. Good old chicken. Chicken. Carrots, of course. Okay. Okay, donkey. Boom. All done. Boom. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm.